U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken arrived in Poland's capital Warsaw on Thursday. He is expected to have meetings with Polish Foreign Minister Radosław Sikorski, President Andrzej Duda and Prime Minister Donald Tusk. Prior to his arrival in Warsaw, Blinken was in Kiev with UK Foreign Secretary David Lamy. The top diplomats traveled together to the Ukrainian capital on a rare joint tour to underscore their commitment to the country. Blinken announced more than $700 million in humanitarian aid, while Lamy confirmed that his country would provide another $782 million in assistance and loan guarantees. U.S. Secretary of State Antony Blinken and British Foreign Secretary David Lamy have arrived in Kiev on a joint visit as Ukraine presses the West to allow it to use long-range missiles against Russia. The top diplomats reached the Ukrainian capital on Wednesday hours after the U.S. presidential debate during which Vice President Kamala Harris and former President Trump sparred over the two-and-a-half-year war in Ukraine. Blinken traveled from London, where he accused Iran of providing Russia with FAF, 360 short-range ballistic missiles, calling the move a dramatic escalation of Russia's military campaign. For months, Ukraine has been requesting approval to use long-range weapons from the United States and Western allies to strike targets in Russia, and is expected to press harder given Russia's latest reported weapons acquisition. Wednesday's visit comes ahead of British Prime Minister Keir Starmer's upcoming trip to Washington, where he will meet President Joe Biden at the White House on Friday. Russian airstrikes, mostly aimed at crippling Ukraine's energy infrastructure, have intensified in recent weeks with nightly missile and drone attacks. Israel's military continued its latest raid of Tulkarem refugee camp Wednesday in the northern West Bank, digging up roads and patrolling the area. The operation in Tulkarem began Tuesday afternoon. Two Palestinians have since been killed by Israeli fire, according to the Palestinian Health Ministry. The raid comes amid a series of operations across the northern West Bank by the Israeli army, targeting refugee camps in Tulkarem, Jenin and Tubas. Earlier Wednesday, an Israeli airstrike killed five people in Tubas according to the Palestinian Health Ministry. The Israeli military said it was targeting militants in the northern city. The Health Ministry confirmed the toll but does not say whether those killed by Israeli fire are militants or civilians. Israel has stepped up military raids across the territory in recent weeks and says it is working to dismantle militant groups and prevent attacks. Palestinians say such operations are aimed at cementing Israel's seemingly open-ended military rule over the territory. Violence has flared across the West Bank since the Israel-Hamas war erupted in Gaza last October. More than 680 Palestinians have been killed by Israeli fire in the territory since then, the health ministry says.